Here's a good way to back up files on a Windows 7 operating system. This technique is useful for if you have a problem with accessing your files on a computer. Let's say you have one computer that when you boot it up it has the Windows 7 operating system and it's always booted up normally but one day you just boot it and you get the blue screen of death you don't know why or you get a boot error and you just cannot access your files there's no way to get access to your files and now you have maybe important files on that computer so you don't want to wipe the whole computer out and you don't have the hardware tools to just get the info and the data from your hard drive so you're you don't know what to do so this technique will use a second computer in which you will download the Windows 7 USB DVD download tool which allows you to put the Windows 7 operating system setup ISO into a USB or DVD minus R and then you can back up all your files onto a storage drive. Now for that computer that is the problem computer you should always know your Windows operating system type but as you can see if you cannot even turn on that computer then how else will you know? Well I'm going to show you the step how you would know if it had been working and maybe if you don't know your operating system right now and you'll have a problem it's always good to know what Windows operating system type you have now on your computer you can go to the bottom left to the start button and you just click on it and now you want to go to computer so you right click on that and then you want to click on properties now in the properties section it'll show your Windows operating system and your system type so at the top it says which Windows 7 operating system you have. As you can see I have the Windows 7 Home Premium. And it's as easy as that. You look a little bit down and you find the system type. So I have a 64-bit operating system. I'll zoom it in and you can see my system type is 64-bit operating system. So I have a Windows 7 Home Premium 64-bit operating system. Now you know your Windows type and it's always good to know it. Now you want to download the correct Windows 7 ISO setup file. We'll be using this website to get the Windows 7 ISO file. Now this website I'll leave in the description but I find this website useful because it provides a good collection of the Windows 7 ISO file. So on this website you'll see some information about the Windows 7 files that they have and you can just read a little bit about this but if you want to go straight to the download files you just scroll down and then you'll start seeing a bunch of Windows 7 download files in different languages and different versions of the Windows 7 so I control find to search for English because I want the English um, Windows ISO file and I find it over here it is Windows 7 Home Premium Media Refresh um, 64 x64 means 64 bit and so I want to download this file so I'm gonna click on the ISO to download it I've already started this uh, download because it takes quite a while for my internet connection I have fairly slow internet connection so it's gonna take about 20 or 30 minutes now we're gonna get the Windows 7 USB DVD download tool this program is from Microsoft and it allows you to put the Windows 7 operating system setup onto a USB or a DVD writable. So we are going to do that and then we're going to make it on a USB in this tutorial. The reason why I'm showing you how to do it on a USB because quite frankly it's much easier to put Windows 7 operating system on a USB at least for me and I normally just don't like putting things on DVD because USB is faster and it's just easy and simple. It's a simple thing to use. So we go on this website, it's going to be a link in the description, it's from the Microsoft Store, but it's a completely free program, Windows 7 USB DVD download tool. Now we're going to click on installation, so we can head down over here, we're going to click this, it's going to give us an executable file, an executable file is fairly small, it's like 2 megabytes at most, or not even. Um, so once that setup's done, we're gonna just click on the setup file. I've already have this program installed, so you just run it and you're gonna follow the directions. But since I already have it installed, I'll just repair it and see if it's anything's new with the program. 
update it a little bit and but normally you just install it's a quick installation and you'll have the file so once you have the file you can just finish and now we're gonna make the USB device so first of all you need to find a program which should be on your desktop because it creates a shortcut and this is the Windows 7 tool over here so I'm gonna double click it and now it says choose ISO file now the ISO file is the Windows 7 setup file that you downloaded. Um, ISO is just the extension used for um, disk normally. So I found it over here. It's X17, 5, 8, etc. Um, I'm going to open it and then go next. And then I'm going to choose my media type. I'm going to choose USB device. I've already inserted a USB note it's gonna delete everything on that USB so I suggest you to back up whatever files you have I'm gonna erase the USB it erases everything on the USB so make sure that you have an empty uh, USB for this part of the tutorial uh, the program well not the program but the ISO sub file itself it's about 3.10 gigs so you want to have at least I would say a 4 gig USB flash drive if you want to do the same thing that I'm doing but to be really safe you could go up to 8 uh, normally a lot of USB flash drives are out there right now uh, you can buy them anywhere and I feel like uh, at this time USB flash drives like 4 or above is just norm for people to have so if you don't have one right now you I definitely suggest you to buy one because they're probably only $8 six dollars you can buy them very cheap and especially with Amazon you can just find anything so we're gonna just wait until this is done approximately 15 minutes now it's gonna be done so it took around 15 minutes to copy all the files onto your USB now the USB only has the set of file I'm gonna eject safely eject the USB by right clicking and then eject and I'm gonna take it out so now we're going to insert the Windows 7 bootable USB into the problem computer and I'm going to show you how to back up your files from this setup. Now when you boot up your computer, the problem computer might not work normally under circumstances where it just can't boot up into an operating system. Now if you have the USB device, now if you press F12 or F10 you can choose to boot options. What's going to boot first? Now we're going to select USB storage device for my particular computer it's F12 to get into the boot menu now we're gonna wait until it loads and it's gonna start loading Windows 7 how you can see me over there I'm just recording with my phone um, because I don't have anything else that can record good quality so we're gonna just load Windows 7 and it's gonna start up but the good thing about this is that if you have the blue screen problem or if you have a boot problem Booting up to the Windows 7 setup bypasses that. It it goes first. If you boot to the USB first, then it bypasses everything. So you press next and go to repair your computer. Now, um, if you can actually repair your computer, then that's great. Then you don't need to back up your files. But let's say the problem is even so severe that you can't even repair your computer. So this is a good technique that I found when I was fixing someone's computer and like we could not repair it at all so I press no and then I'm gonna go next and then press ok you might not get an error but what you wanna go is to the command prompt now this is a useful tool um, sorry about the glare but we're gonna type in notepad.exe notepad.exe and it's gonna open the typical notepad now if we file and open we get access to all of your files we we can see everything we can see all the drives C E D whatever you have and even your booting uh, USB so what we're gonna do is we're gonna just go to C drive or E drive it doesn't matter what drive let's say you wanted a file like on your drive and you want to copy it onto your storage hard drive now this is a good point to put in your storage backup drive if you have a second USB you can insert it now and let's say that I would just I'm just looking around what files I should copy and I want to copy um, let's see 
this new three text file. I was working on some text file stuff and I can right click and copy the file and then let's say I want to put it onto my storage backup drive I can just double click it and then I can right click and paste now it's perfect I mean if you cannot boot your computer at all and Windows 7 recovery did not work and you have no idea how to repair your computer it's basically like some software issue you know it's a software issue um, but you cannot fix your computer at all then this is a great way to just copy and paste and you can see I pasted the new 3 file but also you can delete files so it's it's just great you can copy paste files so you can save files that you want to back up and it's just a great way and this is just a little video to show you another technique uh, maybe you'll find it useful one day so thanks for watching everyone